Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine eBikes, and today we're going to be doing a video on the KT LCD3 display programming. This um, one of the most frequently asked questions we get is about how to program your eBike. Now, the KT LCD3 is a 24, 36, and 48 volt control onboard computer. It became really well known for the Saunders 36 volt um, e-bike, but it is out there in the world in a large way, and so what we're going to do is go through all the programming aspects of the multi-functions of this, and how to control your bike. These onboard computers control so many aspects of your bike, there's about 25 control aspects or functions here that are super important to controlling everything from your voltage to your tire size to your top end speed. So we're going to go through that and I just want to read a couple things from uh, just several of the many people from around the world who've contacted us about this particular um, LCD display. So here's one from Florida. My power seems to run out when I reach the end of two bars even though there's a fourth bar to indicate a low battery. Is this just wear and tear? I'm going to try the P5 real-time setting today. Very, very common. The P5 setting is one of the most important settings on this. It controls what your voltage is, so you really need to go in there. If it's 24 volt, you want to set it to 11. If it's 36 volt, you want to set it to 15. And for 48 volt, set it to 15 as well. That will give you a real-time display of how much, how much power is left in your battery. Here's a great tip from Finland. If you want to turn on the backlight, press the up button and hold it and it's good for nighttime riding. So you basically hold your up button here, depress it for about three seconds and it turns on permanent backlight for your LCD. Comment from a guy in the UK, all this control settings was missing in my manual for my e-bag conversion kit. Can you help me out? So what I said to him is when in, when in doubt reboot, he rebooted went to the default settings and of course it all worked. Comment from Germany. I want my e-bike to go faster than 72 miles per hour. Now the thing is these, these governors, there's a governor on here that your maximum speed is 72 miles an hour. Now 72 miles an hour, this is a thousand watt motor, it can't go 72 miles an hour. So he said, how can I do that? I said, first of all, you have to have a motor that would go 72 miles an hour. And if you have that motor, then you're using the wrong controller because this is a 48, 52 volt um, maximum controller. And uh, what you want to do is work with something that's compatible with that. The top speed of something like this, if you had the motor for it, would be about 60 miles an hour. If you want to be going 72 miles an hour, you should be driving a motorcycle. From Canada, what does it mean if the battery level is blank, showing no bars, but the actual battery is full? So we sent him back, actually, your LCD is not co connected correctly. So he connected in, and of course, he got his full display. Once again, from Australia, um, I can't set anything on it. It's stuck. What do I do? So again, I said, you know, encouraged him to go back in connect the battery, come in here and set it to the default settings. Once you do the, the factory reset, everything starts from scratch and it work great. So anyway, we're going to show you a video about how to program your KT LCD3 controller onboard computer. And um, I hope you find it interesting. If you like this video, please subscribe below. Thanks again for watching uh, our videos here on Augustine eBikes. To turn on the KT LCD display, first turn on your battery, then press the middle function button for three seconds. This brings up the first of three information displays about showing information about your e-bike, such as battery levels, trip distance, temperature, cruise function, lights, brakes, motor temperature, error codes, and more. To scroll through the three displays, press the middle function button briefly and it will change from display to display. To control the general project settings, hold down the up and down arrow keys for three seconds. This will bring you to your first settings. Here you can control maximum speed, wheel size, very important, miles per hour versus kilometers, temperature settings, and more. To change the settings, use the up and down arrow keys. When your selection appears, press the middle function button. It will save your settings and allow you to scroll to the next setting. When you're done making your selections, hold down the up and down 
arrow keys for three seconds. This will bring you to the parameter settings menu where you'll see a blinking P1 at the bottom of your screen. P1 controls your motor characteristics parameters. You're going to want to check with your manufacturer for the correct settings for your, for your particular motor. Press the middle button to scroll to P2. P2 controls the wheel speed pulse signal. Again, if you don't know, consult with your manufacturer. It's really important not to change these default settings unless you know specifically about your motor. P3 sets your pedal assist functions. The settings are 0 through 5. When set to 0, the throttle is dependent on the pedal assist system gear ratio. When set to 5, the throttle will provide the most amount of power. P4 sets the throttle startup settings. This is an important one. When set to 1, the throttle will only activate the motor after the motor has been activated by a pedaling. When set to 0, the throttle will activate the motor when triggered. P5 is the power monitor setting. Again, this is important. If the setting isn't set, set correct, you won't be able to determine how much you have left in your battery. There are settings there for 24 volt, 36 volt, and 48 volt, but if you don't know the correct settings, set this to zero for real-time voltage mode. It'll give you a correct readout of how much you have left in your battery. When done with these five settings, press the up and down arrow keys to move to the C parameter settings. C1 is your throttle startup setting. Check your manual for your preferred settings. C2 is your motor phase classification coding mode. These parameters set the different phases of the motor when using a scene wave drive. You'll know if you have a scene wave drive. C3 is your power assist ratio gear. The settings are 0 through 5, 0 being the least pedal assisted by the motor and 5 being the most. C4 is your handlebar function settings. This controls various aspects of your throttle handling. C5 controls your maximum operating current. Again, check your manual for the appropriate settings. Very important. C6 is the backlit brightness setting for your LCD display. Settings are 1 through 5, 5 being the brightest. C7 is your cruise function setting if your controller supports cruise. 0 is for disabled, 1 enables it. C8 is the motor operating temperature display setting. 0 means disabled, 1 means enabled. I enable this, I want to know how, how hot my motor is. C9 is the startup password setting. If you choose to put a password, you can scroll through your settings and create your own password. C10 is the restore default setting. This is important if you've entered the wrong settings and need to start over. Press Y to reset and N to keep the existing settings. C11 is your LCD attribute setting. Choices are 0 through 2. I would leave this at 0. C12 parameters are setting for the controller's minimum operating voltage. Again, I can't say this enough. Check your manual. C13 is the ABS brakes and anti-charge control settings. Again, check your manual before changing this. And finally, C14 is your power assist tuning setting. The settings are 1 through 3, 3 being the strongest. That's completely your choice. I hope this helps and enjoy all the great things your e-bike.